Okay, I got the cheese slate, but I don't know why you need it for the scene that we're shooting. Oh, right. So, we're not having cheese? Hello, filmmakers, Ash here, and welcome to Film It Yourself. You might know that this beauty is called a slate, or clapperboard, but chances are, if you're a first time filmmaker, you're probably using it wrong. So let's go over some tips so you can be slating like a pro. But before we do that, let's go over why a slate is a vital piece of equipment for any film shoot. A slate basically has two main purposes. First, it provides both a visual and an audio reference that can be used to sync the footage with the sound in post. The slate's clapper comes together and when it does, the slate produces a loud clap that shows up as an audio spike in the audio waveforms. Editors then use this moment to sync up the audio and video, since most of the time they are recorded separately. Second, a slate helps provide the video editor with all the important information they might need about the shot. Let's break down all that info so you know how to read it. First and most important is the information that takes up the most space on the slate, the roll, scene, and take numbers. A roll number traditionally referenced which roll of film the specific shot was located on, but nowadays it's used to reference which memory card you're on. Next, the scene number references the specific scene and shot you're on. For example, you might be shooting scene one shot A, so you'd write 1A. You'd then continue with the alphabet chronologically for each new shot in the scene. Just remember though, that when numbering scenes, always skip the letters I, O, and Z because they can look like numbers when handwritten. If you need more tips on how to properly name your shots, check out my video on how to build a shot list here. And finally, you have the take number. So if you're shooting the first take of the scene, you'd put a one here and continue on in numerical order. Below this section of the slate, you have even more information about the production, such as the title of the film, the name of the director, the director of photography, and sometimes the producer, what frame rate the camera is shooting at, the date the shot is being filmed, whether it's a day or night, interior or exterior, and if the audio is being recorded or not. Okay, so now that you know how to read the info on a slate, let's dive into some slating tips. First, you wanna make sure you fill up the frame with the slate. This way the editor can clearly read all of the information. Next, make sure the clap is also visible in frame because if it's not, it's going to be useless to your editor in post. If you clap the slate and the clap either wasn't in frame or perhaps just not useful, you'll want to use second sticks. Second sticks is where you clap the slate again to ensure a good clean clap in the audio. Now, when you're calling out the slate, you only need to say the scene and take numbers. However, you wanna use a word that starts with the first letter of the scene. So for example, you might be shooting scene 1A, but you'd call it out as one alpha or one apple. Then you'll wanna follow that up with the word marker before you clap the slate. This helps the editor know that the audio spike they are hearing is indeed the clap of the slate. So it should look something like this. Scene one alpha take two marker. If you're shooting with multiple cameras, you'll wanna make sure you either slate where both cameras can easily see the slate or do a clap for each camera, like this. Yeah. One nacho, take two. B marker. And if you're slating very close to an actor's face, you'll wanna make sure you use soft sticks. Soft sticks are when you clap the slate softly instead of the usual loud clap. This helps protect the talent's hearing and is far less jarring for them. If you have a particularly tight shot that the slate can't fit in, you can do what's called a tail slate. A tail slate is when you slate the shot at the end of the take. This way the camera operator can reframe for the slate after they've gotten the shot. To do this, make sure you call out tail slate when slating and bring the slate in upside down. 
And if you happen to be shooting without sound, you'll wanna make sure MOS is selected on the slate. And hold your hand between the clapper as an extra visual reference to the editor that there's no sync sound for this clip. And finally, if you don't have a slate, just call out the shot and clap your hands like this. 1A, take one, marker. So now you know everything you need to know about slating. Clap on, my friends. And if you wanna be even more of a filmmaking pro, you can do so by getting access to my filmmaking templates by supporting me on Patreon for the cost of this bow tie. You can get a link to it in the description below. And I mean, what do you want more? Filmmaking templates or a bow tie? Though, on second thought, bow ties are pretty cool. Man, I, I gotta get me one of these. You know, this makes a pretty good cheese board too. Hey, save me some. Oh my God, oh my God. Hey, save me some.